So the Steelers coming in with those two losses there. That's why they were ranked number 11. Uh, but the Mustangs beat the Ducks 36-28. to Now the Predators uh, handled the junior Mustangs during the regular season uh, quite easily. As a matter of fact, we'll, let me do this here real quick. We'll check that on that and tell you what those scores were during the regular season. So San Antonio Predators were going to go to the junior level, and they played the San Antonio Junior Mustangs in uh, week number two. It was a 50-0 to zero score against the Mustangs. At the, at the beginning, week two of the regular season, both the Ducks and the Chiefs games were about mid to late season for the Steelers in those losses they had. The Mustangs got that loss um, in week two. So we take a look at the junior Mustangs, their junior team, and how they how they fared throughout the season. 48 to 10 over the Tri-County Titans. They had that loss to the Predators. And then uh, a, they lost to the Texas Giants, 21 to 15. Uh, the Giants gave the Predators a decent game during the regular season. Um, and this was the third time they played them going to the playoffs. And uh, just too much Predators for the Giants that time. So the Mustangs um, have had some has, had some closer games, but they seem to have gotten better as the season went on after facing the Predators. Numbers still jumping around on that poll. Get on there and vote 55% to 45% right now. Uh, predators with the lead. No, that duck game does count. I don't know why you think it doesn't count. It was a loss. You lost in that game. It was recorded as a loss. I don't know why you think it doesn't count. If it didn't count, it wouldn't be in the in, in the in the standings. And someone's telling me 41 to 31 that the Mustangs defeated the Ducks. Well, according to this, it was 36 28, and that was the official report. So wherever you're getting your information, I don't know. You can tell me you were at the game. That's great. That's fine. But the official report that came in for that game was a 36 to 28 win for the Junior Mustangs over the Ducks. So who do you think will win? It, it was a 60-40 Steelers. Uh, people believe, think the Steelers will defeat the San Antonio Junior Mustangs. Mustangs have beat those quality opponents, including the Ducks, who defeated the Steelers. And already coming on saying, oh, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Yes, it does. And right now on the poll, it's showing the San Antonio Predators 56%, Mission Mustangs 44%. So uh, a lot of people agreeing with my prediction on the Predators. Of course, all the people that are that are getting upset are Mustang fans. I get it. That's fine. But they're agreeing with me right now. 57% to 43% right now. We'll keep it open for now and uh, keep an eye on that. Um, as for the Junior Mustangs and the Austin Steelers, who do I think is going to win that game? Austin Steelers, I think you are going to uh, get yourself a game against the Junior Mustang. This is the repeat, the returning Division II Junior Champions. And this is going to be a dogfight. This is not going to be an easy game. So who am I going to go with? Everybody out there thinks it's going to be a 60-40 that the Steelers uh, will go to the championship. They'll, they'll beat the, the uh, Junior Mustangs. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Hopefully the Steelers 
have gone back to work looking at this and not taking this game lightly. Because I will be highly disappointed if you did. Highly disappointed. It's not in your makeup. That's not what you guys normally do. But if you're looking at the Junior Mustang, you're saying, oh, we got this. I don't believe it. But I'm going to take the Steelers. We will have this game live on Typhoon Radio. It's the last game of the day at 6 p.m. over at Cornerstone High School Warrior Stadium. San Antonio Junior Mustangs and the Austin Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers. But it will not be a blowout game. This is going to be a close game. I think the Mustangs are going to give you a fight. And the poll right now, 54% to 46% San Antonio Predators. And, of course, now I'm getting all the excuses. More people in San Antonio than it is RGB. Okay. Nobody's calling me, Jerry. I haven't gotten any text messages. I haven't gotten any calls whatsoever. Phone line's up. It's there. So I, I don't know where he's texting or who he's texting or what number he's trying to call, but he's not calling me. Because my phone's sitting right next to me the whole time. Shannon Crenshaw, president of the uh, San Antonio, or excuse me, the Austin Steelers. According to the messages I'm getting, he's he's texting me. He's trying to call me. Uh, so so Shannon's saying, "Don't pick me." He says, "Don't pick us." So so Shannon, should I go with the should I go with the Junior Mustangs? Then is that what you're saying? You want me to pick against you. You want me to pick the Junior Mustangs against the Austin Steelers. Is that what you're saying? Everybody in Steelerland, you you hear this. Hear this right now. The president of the Austin Steelers is now requesting that I pick against them. The number has been the same that it has been all season long. 979-353-4421. Nothing has changed. It's been the same all season long. Okay, okay so it's not Shannon. Although uh, Shannon did reach out to me. He said he wanted to call in. He did say he wanted to call in. But apparently this is Mike Barr that wants to call in. Okay, so it's so it's Michael Barr. Mike Barr. Well, Mike Barr, by all means, 979 353 4421 We get about, about about three minutes left here. Uh, so you need to get on it now. If you're gonna call in, get it on now. But he did Mike Barr just did, did just did. One of the coaches for the Austin Steelers just posted wanting me to pick against the Austin Steelers. Wants me to pick against them. Oh, I know how to read, Mike. I do know how to read. The only problem is I can't sit there and watch um, the, the, the comments 24-7 while I'm trying to do a radio show. It's kind of hard to do that. Nine seven nine three five three four four two one. That's the number to call. 
And I think we got somebody on the line now. Yeah. How's it going? Now, now this is Shannon. So this isn't Mike Barr trying to call in. Mike Barr, he communicated with you through his track club. Take me through the uh, uh, part of it, then that's him. Oh. But uh, like I say, I'm I, I'm not on social media, Tina Kenny. So you know, I'm straight up. I'm gonna call you if I got something to say. All right, uh, so we we got that down. Uh, so Shannon is on the phone with me right now. Uh, welcome, Shannon. So what do you have to say? I, I, I picked the Austin Steelers to win um, against the San Antonio Junior Mustangs, and then I get this message from now. I found out it's Mike Barr telling me, "Don't pick us." I mean, it's it's up to you, Kenny. You can pick whoever you want to pick. I mean, he feel how he wants to. He just want to go in to the football game and just play. It, it doesn't matter who picks who. Who? I mean, it doesn't matter. He gonna go play football. We gonna go play still a football, and that's just what it is. We not worried about predictions. We just gonna show up and we trying to get folks deep to Baylor. That's what we trying to do. Well, I, well, first of all, Shannon, let me say congratulations uh, for getting all four of your teams and your organization. Um, into the semifinals. That is not an easy feat to do. No, it's not, and I appreciate that, Kenny. You know it's how in love with me, baby. Every time I talk to you, every time I see you, you know it's 100 from Still a Nation. But, yeah, I mean, it's just hard work. We've been in it for a minute. We've been out here, and, like, you know, it, it's, it's just it's just our time. It's just we, we just do for it. We do everything the right way. It's not about wins and losses. It's about if your child is better in December than when he came from in when he got to us in June and this year it looked like an hour of work paid off. So your flag team uh, playing against the clean coat chiefs, you faced each other before. Um, what's the game plan against the clean coat chiefs? The game plan will be shown at 10 a.m. on this Saturday. It's $10 to get in Stony Point. And that's my answer. <laughs> Not going to give anything away. Not tell us what you're preparing for or anything like that. I mean, we pre we preparing for a good game. I mean, we always respect the opponent, but we work hard as well. So, like I said, the my prediction is is ten dollars at ten a.m. at Stony Point, and you will see. The rookie game now uh, against the San Antonio Junior Hurricanes. Uh, what do you know about the Hurricanes? Like I said, I mean, I don't really, I don't really know about the Hurricanes. I got film on them, but my my thing about you is you act like you don't know about these guys. You know, these are the guys two years ago in Dallas that did the mannequin challenge, like, and you a pick against them. But that's just something else on, you know, that's just another topic. But don't forget, Kenny, them are the mannequin challenges, boys, right there. While you stop the Broncos, rest in peace to them. That you thought they had with us, man. Don't forget, just the mannequin talent boys right there. Now moving on. Now let's go and go talk about these tykes. Okay, so let's talk about the tykes. What? What? what yeah, what, the tykes. What, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm giving you time. It is. It, it is. It is what it is. You know, it just seems like for whatever reason that it comes out is just Superman, Superman, Superman. Well, we finally got a squad. We got the coach together. We got the players together. And we ready to take the Superman challenge. So, you know, we'll be here. We'll be strapped up. We'll be ready to go. But I'm telling you, like, I mean, hard work. I mean, that's what we that's what we build on. I mean, everybody plays scores. But like I tell everybody, you can play people, you can play people, then you got to play the Steelers. So they got to play the Steelers out there at Stony Point, the third Steeler game that's going to go on at that location. So we'll just see what's going on. And again, that game will be out there at Stony Point. On Saturday, pay your 10 bucks and you'll see the results of that also. You'll get a three. You'll get a three for pay 10. You will see a nice three games from Stella Nation on Saturday out there at Stony Point. Now, again, let, let, let's talk about this Marlins game. And you, you this has been, they're the repeat, they're come, the returning champions for Division One. Um, you mentioned Superman out there, Dylan Mitchell, uh, but they've got more than just Dylan Mitchell. I got to see a lot of that this past weekend. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe that's not a ticket that we.